Hello everyone, Gameaholic here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the new ship damage and how to fix it. Okay, so with the new anniversary update, it brought in new ship damage for Sea of Thieves. You can now break the capsan, the wheel, the harpoon technically, but you don't have to repair it I think, and the mast as well as the usual holes in the hull. So hopefully this experiment works, so just make sure I've got my planks ready to go and that I don't uh, fail in this video. It may take a few attempts to record it, but what I'm going to actually do, believe it or not, is set this gunpowder off and hopefully I can also show you the damage that as it goes and still have time to fix it. Okay, as you can see there, the mast is broken, the ship and the capsan is broken. Now it's a race against time to get these holes fixed down below. There's also two different types of holes now. We have the large and we have the small. The large is still taking, I think about five to six seconds and the smaller one is roughly around three. I told you it was a race against time, didn't I? Right, we've, still, we've managed to do the majority of the damage there. So if you're gonna get blown up by gunpowder now, you are definitely gonna see this kind of damage in game. So there you go. As you can see, that is normal and how it was before you just fix your holes i think it's like say the larger ones are five to six seconds i think the smaller ones are roughly about three seconds and that's how to fix the hull so from what i can see there is no, no physical damage from the harpoons though if you are latched by another ship you can shoot their harpoon and that's how you break it so we're going to go through the new parts that we need to fix so you need your piece of wood in your hand you go over to your capsan and it will say press whatever button it is for you depending on whether you're xbox or pc to repair and you can see that we have repaired the capsan. The next thing is the wheel. It's very similar to the capsan and you want to be putting your your wood back into the three available slots that make up a T. It's the easiest way to remember where the damage could be. So if you have your wheel straight up and it's central, it will look like a T just like that when it's fully repaired. And that is also full damage. You don't necessarily get three. You could get one or two as well. The last thing that we're going to show you how to repair and probably the most important is the mast you just go to the bit where you lift up the where you lift up the the sail and eventually it will pull the mast back up into place you need to continue to keep pulling it until you hear a snap back into place like so and it will pull you off the and it will pull you off the sail part as well so once that's been fully pulled back up again uh, sorry it is in night time you can see these cracks again in the mass there are three places that you need to repair there is one at this each side and also one just above the bell and that was the reason why the bell got moved down by the way so there you can see we now have the mast completely and utterly repaired again and we're good to go. If you don't repair that mast you are not going to be able to sail. If you don't repair the wheel you won't be able to turn correctly and if you don't repair the capsan you will be anchored is the easiest way. You can, re you can actually re-anchor yourself back up and raise it with just one of these but it is advisable that you put them all back on. Obviously with the brig and the galleon, more damage because there's more masts. There's more like sort of rod sticking out the capsan. The wheel stays the same though. So there we go. There is my guide on how to fix the new ship damage and what the new ship damage is. Hopefully it's been helpful for you. If it has, then please do consider sharing, liking, commenting and subscribing. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great rest of your voyages and take care.